Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456 and I'm back with another PSA video. A lot of you guys really, really enjoyed the How Not To Get Banned GTA 5 video that I did a few weeks ago and by a few weeks ago, I think I mean a few days ago. But anyway, nonetheless, so we're going to be talking today about the brand new undercover Rockstar employees that are going into games and basically seeing if anyone's cheating, seeing if anyone is uh, money glitching, doing anything bad, and they are actually putting people into the cheater's pool, which is not, this, not the same as bad sports pool. Cheater's pool, you're there for like around a month and you can't play with anyone else unless they're in the bad sports or cheaters pool the bad sports pool you can usually get out within a few days but cheaters pool is way way worse and they oftentimes take away all your money and uh, it's definitely not good for you so if you guys do end up enjoying this video if you do end up enjoying this information be sure to hit the thumbs up button and help support my channel help support this video and anyway let's go ahead and jump right into the information so I've heard about this information from a couple different people. Some people have sent me messages wanting me to DM them. I've asked them what's up and they said, hey, I was put into a game and I basically I was doing a glitch with someone and Rockstar employee came over, talked to me and banned me. And I was like, okay, that's kind of a stretch. I don't think they would actually be going into lobbies and like talking to people. And then I saw more messages rolling in and rolling in and lots of different posts saying that someone named Rockstar Crew 05 was getting into their game. And it was, it was like completely different sources, completely different places. They were all saying the same name, Rockstar Crew 05, and then there were a couple other names to go with that. I'll be talking about those with a second. But basically, someone from Rockstar Games with the gamer tag Rockstar Crew 05 has been going into games, just kind of playing the game, and actually banning people if they see them doing glitches inside of the game and uh, just kind of like being, being the Rockstar Police or something like that. The other two gamer tags that were found were R Space Developer 03 and RSG Crew 01, all one word. And basically, those three gamer tags have been been known to go into games, be looking over the crews, be looking over people, spectating people, and seeing if anyone is glitching, seeing if anyone's doing anything bad, modding, anything like that. I understand with the modding part, but they are really, really cracking down on money glitches. As you, as you guys know, they've been hot, hot fixing money glitches left and right ever since this latest patch came out. They kind of gave it like two weeks of nothing, nothing happened, and now they've like hot, hot fixed, hot fixed, hot fixed, just getting, getting after every single little money glitch that comes out. And basically, they are really really taking it seriously this time. So basically how it happened for one of the people is they, they were just playing the game, they were glitching with their friend, and I think they didn't notice the gamer tag or really didn't think that it was a, a serious gamer tag or anything like that, but one of them sent him a message on the phone and said, what are you doing? Like on the little text message in game thing, and uh, he messaged him back and he was like, new money glitch or something like that, he just didn't realize. It's kind of stupid to say that at all, he obviously didn't watch my uh, How to Not Get Banned video. But anyway, he messaged him back saying money glitch and basically he plugged in his mic and the the Rockstar employee was like how to like kind of scolding him on how he's ruining the game experience this is better these are better ways to make money that don't ruin the game experience for everyone else like telling him to play these uh missions and stuff like that and then basically uh he got offline turned off his xbox and then when he got back on about an hour later the <laughs> the Rockstar employee had put him in the cheater's pool and he was there for a couple weeks so uh basically if you're if you're doing a glitch in a public lobby number one that is an awful awful idea only do them in private sessions and number Number two, if someone comes into your game saying Rockstar Crew, uh, our developer 03, our RGS Crew 01, basically you can say hi to them, like say what's up. Don't be doing money glitches in the same lobby though, because that's just honestly stupid to be uh, to be doing that. And I know it's kind of hard to notice if someone someone with a certain name joins your game, but just be on the lookout. Really, really, just don't do money glitches in public lobbies at all. Don't go into public lobby and just ask everyone, hey, who wants to do a money glitch with me? Because well, who who knows? Maybe you'll get a message from Rockstar Crew saying, hey, I want to do it, and then when you actually try to follow through with it he'll be like nope gotcha and then you get banned so basically point of this video rockstar is going undercover to ban people it's really kind of like it's kind of funny at the same time that it is like i, I don't know a psa i i just find it kind of funny that they're, they have like undercover cops policing their servers and i understand it completely and uh no hate to rockstar at all that's that's kind of awesome that you do that but anyway if you are a money glitcher uh definitely be careful with that if you are an rp glitcher be careful with that because they are going in they are banning people and uh yeah so just be very very careful so anyway guys my name is NoJ456. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to support it with a thumbs up. Really, really help uh, help out my channel. And hopefully we're going to be getting the, the trailer later on today. I covered that in a video last night. The next-gen trailer is supposedly going to be released today. Basically, on the marketplace, we found some coding. This coding said that the global original release date was today. And if that does end up being true, we should be getting a GTA 5 next-gen trailer today. And... Uh, there's also the possibility that it got pushed back, it got delayed for whatever reason, but this coding is 100% legit. This is straight from Xbox, and uh, hopefully we can get it very, very soon. So anyway, guys, my name is NoJ456. I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.
Sapri Prunaj.